Good day, Jeff Kitzmiller here from the National Weather Service, and today is Sunday, November 14th. Here's your planning briefing. A few main points this week. So we do have uh, the potential for damaging winds later in the day on Monday and through Monday night and into Tuesday morning. Snow levels will rapidly drop because the winds are due to a cold front. It's a strong cold front, and intense snow is possible with and behind that cold front. And then after the cold front gets out, there'll be a little bit of drying and then uh, we moisten back up and it looks like a pretty good scenario for some snow bands and maybe even snow squalls on Tuesday. And the higher impacts of those could end up being in the afternoon and evening on Tuesday. So looking at our current satellite imagery here, we have this front out here. This is the one that we're watching. There's a low up here. This moves off to the east. This front will come in and uh, is expected to be pretty vigorous as it makes it up to the northern Rockies in uh, Idaho and Montana uh, late tomorrow. After that, there's a little bit of a break and then there's a little weather system out here. This might make it into the region late Thursday or Friday. All right, so here is uh, the southwesterly flow that we were seeing on the satellite image. and the front will end up showing up right here with these reds and later in the day on uh, Monday and then a Tuesday night is when we see that. That pass through and then we get into this northwesterly flow, which is usually a pretty good setup to continue to have some moisture and, and snow bands or showers. Then after that, just a brief period of maybe a little bit of high pressure, so probably a little bit drier. And then here's the potential for that next weather system that might make it here at the end of the week, but there's a lot of disagreement. So taking a look at the stronger winds that are possible, these colors here with our yellows and reds are showing some higher wind gust potential. And most of these are in the high terrain Monday morning. But as we see, as we go through the day, we start to see more wind increase just about everywhere. So we're pretty breezy through Monday. But back here where we see a lot more orange, red, and pink, this is where the cold front is forecast to be. So here we're looking at 5 p.m. on Tuesday, where we might just start to see the, those stronger winds into northwest Montana and maybe clipping Idaho. And as we go through forward in time through the evening, we start to see a lot more of these orange, yellows, and pinks, which are over 40 and maybe over 50 mile per hour. So pretty good potential for wind. We are, we're worried about the potential for damaging winds with, with this type of a cold front. And they start to relax on this, this uh, forecast model here as we get through or into like the early morning hours. But we'll need to see because the front could still just barely be clipping Butte and Lemhi County as we get to about 5 and 6 a.m. But it's, there's pretty high potential. A lot of models are showing strong wind. Looking at the radar projection for tomorrow, so we're starting tomorrow uh, Monday afternoon to really start to see some of these returns that are right along the front and they could be pretty strong going from like moderate heavy rain to right down into snow. A couple of returns and showers that are behind the front and then notice here that we start to see more of banded type precipitation show up on this model as we get through the day on Tuesday. And then here are some of those later frames as we get to like Tuesday afternoon, you start to see the potential for maybe a, a couple of stronger bands. So I want to zoom in on those. Here's some that are showing up during the morning time frame. That might be a little early for those to develop, but we'll need to keep an eye out for that. The thing that we'd worry about with bands like this is if they stay in one place. It could end up being a pretty good snow and wind beneath that. And then uh, here's the midday on Tuesday and then that later in the day. And this kind of a band here, a really long, organized, almost stationary band or ones that we definitely want to keep an eye out for. This one here is forecast to be right along I-90 and maybe slowly move south. So this could be a high impact type snow band one to really keep an eye out for as we get into later in the day on Tuesday. Also should mention that because we start off pretty warm and then we get into the shower banded scenario, probably won't have snow accumulations to, that would be widespread. So it would be the stronger showers and snow bands that would be the 
main cause of snow accumulations. As I had mentioned, we start off pretty warm tomorrow. We have a lot of 60s, upper 50s in the forecast. And then over here we have Tuesday, which is more 30s and low 40s for our forecast high temperatures. So a pretty dramatic uh, shift to colder. And then that cooler uh, scenario stays for most of the week. Start to highlight the wind uh, early, through Monday, so it would be pretty breezy through the day. But then it's this changeover to snow, gusty winds, falling temperatures that we're keying in on Monday night and Tuesday. And so here's our biggest impact period. Maybe some snow could linger into uh, Wednesday morning in West Central and Southwest Montana, so we need to watch that. And then out here later in the week, Possibly a little bit of snow enters into north central Idaho on Thursday and maybe some snow on Friday But still not much confidence in the later part of this forecast. If you have any questions or need more detail Please let us know. Uh, we're planning on doing our next recording on Thursday, November 18th. Thank you very much